welcome to this video. In the last episode, we have learned how to solder the banana plug mail bullet and install the motor. Today, I'm going to introduce how to solder the pin headers onto the flight controller and how to connect the receiver, the LED indicator and the buzzer alarm to the flight controller. This kit runs Mave 32 flight controller and is a core component of the whole aircraft. It has a 32-bit processor, a 3-axis gyroscope, and a trial-axial accelerometer. It runs the clean flight firmware with advanced algorithm. This flight controller allows stable flight and provides a display in the ground station. In addition, it can monitor the battery voltage and search for the aircraft with one key. It is completely compatible with the Soundfinder SF210. Insert the curved pin header into the ESC servo headers of the flight controller and solder the curved ones in the flight controller with the melt tin. Insert the straight pin header into the RC input and sort it. Then plug the curved pin header into the function extension port and sort it. Insert the two straight pin headers into the middle pad of the flight controller and solder them. Then insert the white port into the spectrum and solder it. There is a narrow in the front side of the flight controller pointing the aircraft head. Insert one side of the receiver connecting cable into the flight controller. We select PPM remote control single mode here. Insert the white cable of the receiver cord into the PPM on the back of the flight controller. Insert the red cable to the 5V port and black cable to GND. There is a bus port on the back of the flight controller for connecting to the border and searching for the aircraft. Insert the power cord of border into bus port. Pay attention to the ports. White cable into the positive port and black cable into the negative one. Then insert the other side to the channel 2 of the receiver. Black cord into the negative port and white cord to the single port. There is a VBAT port on the back of the flight controller and can be used to monitor the battery capacity. Insert the JST cord of the Needham battery into VBAT port. Red cord inserts into the positive port and black cord into the negative port. 
This is the assembly in this episode. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.